Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you five Photoshop tricks that will help you improve your workflow and your editing. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'm going to continue to make more of these. I just made one for Lightroom and I'm going to make one for Premiere Pro. So make sure to comment below if you want more. And yeah, that's about it. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first trick I'm going to show you is using the eyedropper tool in a program that is not Photoshop. What I mean by that is let's just say um, there's like a cover art in Photoshop or something like that. And you don't want to save that image and then import it into Photoshop. You just want to select the color. If it was in Photoshop, you can easily press the eyedropper tool and just select the color. Um, but because it's not, um, a lot of people don't know how to. You can easily do this by minimizing your window. Using the eyedropper tool um, how you typically would. So you would hold your mouse down. And then while you still are holding it, you just want to drag left or right, and then boom, selected the color. This particular tip is a small one, but it's uh, extremely helpful in a lot of cases and will save you a lot of time. The next tip will allow you to straighten any image. So I purposely uh, made this like rotated a little bit and it's not straightened. So if there's a horizon line or a wall or anything that sort of determines the straightness of an image. So let's just say this window right here, it's a straight line we're able to straighten the image almost instantly. So how you do this is you right click on the eyedropper tool right here, usually it's eyedropper, and you want to select the ruler tool. And literally all you do is you drag across that line or horizon or wall or whatever. And then you set that point and now you just want to press straighten layer and then it straightens automatically based off that line. So tip number three is going to help you edit a little bit faster. Basically, it's going to allow you to open up your photo on two different windows side by side. So for example, if we were to retouch a photo, we would have a zoomed in version where we're retouching. And next to that, we'll have an overall image. So how you do this is you want to go to window, arrange, new window for unnamed one right here. So it's going to open it up in two um, different documents right here. And then now we're going to go back to window, arrange, two up vertical. You can do uh, two up horizontal as well. And now let's just say we're retouching on this image and we select on this and we have an overall image. So we can see how our edits affect an overall image. This could be good for like sharpening an image to see if it looks good in an overall image compared to close up. If we're changing the color, how that affects an entire image, stuff like that. Tip number four will help you remove anything from any picture. So let's just say we wanted to remove these lanyards in this pass or whatever that is. So first you want to select around that area. You don't have to use a pen tool. You can use a selection tool. We're going to make the selection. We're going to go to edit content aware fill. And so now they're going to give you a preview so you can see it's gone now and you can keep making these adjustments. Um, until that thing is completely gone. Sometimes it works in the first try, sometimes it doesn't, but usually it does pretty well. So you can see now more of it's gone. We're gonna keep doing that. And now it's gone. So the last tip I have for you is keyboard shortcuts. Uh, they're very, very easy to um, remember. In Photoshop, there's a letter assigned to every single shortcut. So B is brush tool, V is move tool, H is hand tool. Typically the first letter is the keyboard shortcut. So if you actually hover over each, you'll see um, each of the letters that they're assigned to. And if you right click on brush tool, for example, everything that's under brush tool right here is also a brush tool. Everything that's under eraser tool is also an eraser tool. So if you remember this, it will speed up the process a lot. And one great thing about using shortcuts is typically one of the most used shortcuts is the hand tool, which is spacebar, right? Say you're zooming in, you're using the pen tool and stuff like that. You can hold the spacebar and move around and let go of the space bar and you're back to the previous shortcut you were using. By doing this, it's a lot easier to um, work because you don't have to constantly click back and forth between the pen tool and the move tool. So right now we're holding the space bar and then boom, we can just press E and now we can erase or something like that. Or now we're holding the space bar, press B, boom, we can uh, use the brush tool. This only applies to the hand tool. No other shortcut goes back to the previous shortcut after using it so you can see the hand goes back to the move tool after you let go of the space bar. It doesn't do the same thing with the pen tool. The pen tool just stays there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up button and make sure to comment below if you want part two. Uh, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.